Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Amran Sakai as you all know and today we are going to talk about digital forensics. What is digital forensics? In a very lay layman language, in a very simple language, digital forensics is that particular field of forensic science in which it deals with the analysis or examinations of evidences that are in digital form. By digital form I mean any evidence, any sort of evidence which are in the electronic form and the analysis of those evidences or examination of those evidences comes under the field of digital forensics. It is in a very layman language. This is what digital forensics is all about. Now who all can study digital forensics? So basically there are two types of courses, uh, degree courses. One is a BSc in digital forensics and information uh, security. So basically one course is one degree course is available at BSc level and another degree course is available at MSc level. Now other than that there are certificate courses, uh, PG diploma courses also available in digital forensics. Those you can do but I'm only talking about degree courses which is BSc and MSc. So to study BSc in digital forensics one needs to be from science background and one needs to have at least mathematics in their 12th standard. Even if you don't have computer science that is also fine but you need to have mathematics in your 11th and 12th standard. So if you are from science stream and you have mathematics in your subject list you are eligible to study uh, BSc in digital forensics. We are talking about the MSc. In MSc those who are from BSc, in, uh, those who are from science background in their bachelors basically from uh, BA, BCA or BSc in IT or BS in computer science or BSc in electronics, mathematics or BE, BTech in subcomputer science, electronics, uh, electronics and communication, IT or BSc in forensic science with uh, computer forensics. Only few colleges, only a few, uh, one or two I, I, I guess, uh, the, in which BSc forensics and students with computer forensics are eligible to study MSc digital forensics. Now talking about the scope and employment opportunities in particular field, now uh, this is one of the very few uh, forensic science field where placement opportunities are available where place where one can have placements uh, mainly those placements take into private or corporates so you can work as ASO analyst, SOC analyst, VAPT, digital forensic analyst, cyber security analyst, IT auditor, GRC analyst, techno sales trainer or as a professor or lecturer in private colleges or universities or work also can work as a digital forensic expert. Now if you want to know in details about the opportunities of or the forensic science careers in digital forensics, I've already made a video on it. You can you know I'll link it down in the description. Uh, you can see the thumbnail on the screen as well. You can go visit that uh, particular video and you'll get to know in detail about the career opportunities in digital forensics fields. Now in talking about the government, you can work as a in the cyber divisions or the cyber crime sales police station, 13, BPRD, government colleges as a assistant professor wherein but you need to have relevant experience and uh, you know relevant qualifications as per the eligibility criteria to work in the government sector. Now if we talk about the average salary of the uh, you know, professionals working in the digital forensics field now see I have already made a video as well on this particular you know salaries of forensic scientists in various job profiles uh, in that particular video I have already made this video you can I will link it down in the description we, uh, thumbnail is on the screen. You can visit that video and you'll get to know about uh, the average salaries as for the job profiles. Now last section of particular this video is that the, which are the colleges where we can study digital forensics and from where you know some sort of placements can happen. So number one is NFSU, National Forensic Science University, uh, RRU, Rashtra Raksha University, there is Gujarat University, Calicut University, Madras University. Now these are some prominent universities wherein digital forensics uh, is being taught and you know some sort of placement assistance and uh, placements uh, take place so you can visit their websites and NFSU has already started their admission pro procedure RRU is about to start and other universities will also start sooner so this is about the digital forensics field a glimpse about digital forensics field what is it I know what are the scopes and what are the colleges and job profiles and uh, the average salaries so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up among your friends and please subscribe to my channel.